Nicolas Poussin was born into a rather modest Norman family, but became one of the most celebrated painters of the 17th century. Most of his career took place in Rome, where he was appreciated as one of the most important artistic personalities of his time. Poussin approached painting thanks to the works of minor artists active in northern France. In 1612, he moved to Paris to study seriously, and for 10 years he led a very poor life. Finally, in 1622, he was entrusted with a commission for the realization of six paintings of the Jesuit church. At the end of his work, he decided to seek his fortune in Rome. In 1624, he settled in the internal city which would become his residence for the years to come, Rome. There, he studied the masterpieces of classical antiquity and Renaissance, benefiting from the influence of Raphael and Le Titien. Cardinal Francesco Barberini, nephew of the Pope, became his patron and introduced him to many intellectuals and antique art dealers in the city. Around 1629, Poussin fell seriously ill and was cared for by the family of a French cook who worked in Rome and whose daughter, the artist married in 1630. The disease coincided with the change of his direction in his art. The artist became aware of his failures and became convinced that his talent was not reserved for a large audience. And in fact, since 1630, having failed to obtain enough commissions for large works designed for churches, Poussin found his personal artistic vocation in the creation of small canvases for private and scholarly collectors. He preferred mythological subjects or episodes taken from classical literature or the Bible. Poussin's heart was rooted in classicism and drew on the ideals, reason, balance, harmony, proportion and order. His work depicts characters who move and act like actors on a stage, but frozen in time, movement and expression. The result is an image characterized by great formal rigor. The shepherds of Arcadia are a perfect example of Poussin's art. The inscription Et in Arcadia Ego on the ancient Roman sarcophagus attracts the curiosity of a group of shepherds. The melancholy phrase is at the origin of the tone of the enigmatic painting. The warm fall colors of the careful representation of the figures convey an atmosphere of tragic resignation and the idol is broken by the memory of the inevitably of death, even if the best of the words. Each figure created by the artist is defined by a precise outline and modeled by bright colors. Poussin used small theater and wax figures to experiment with the composition of his works, always firmly geometric. His style was radically different from the other current in vogue in those years, the Baroque, exemplified by the free brush strokes of contemporary ribbons. Poussin's works became very popular among the nobility. After numerous pressures, he went to Paris in 1640, where Louis XIII appointed him as the king's first painter. However, he was not happy with his life, and the following year he decided to return to Rome, where he remained until his death. Philosophical painter with an intellectual streak, he was at the center of a debate throughout the 17th century. Artists and scholars wondered which of the two styles, Poussinism or Rubinism, had greater artistic value. A debate that reached its peak between 1672 and 1678.